around um, the supply side, i.e. the importation of drugs, the wholesaling of drugs, and, and then the retailing of the drugs, is in, is a, they're all criminal activities and they're issues for the police. I, I have worked uh, with these out for over 20 years and I've worked over the whole of East Ulster um, and I have seen towns which are at worst stages in terms of um, the housing market. The Antrim is actually on the way up. The drugs problem is not confined to the estates. The headmaster of Antrim Grammar suspended 12 pupils after drugs were found in the school. Across the whole of the UK there are enormous pressures on this and the, the trend might want to make one feel pessimistic because there are people pushing this for their own gain. I can't understand what sort of people they are, but they're doing it and for, for greed. Um, I must hope and must trust that what we do will make a difference for the young people that we've got in our uh, area of influence. Um, the whole country has got to take this on board and to, to take it seriously.
While the protest was going on, Hughes, who had tried to intimidate the residents as they arrived for the meeting, set fire to a van.
we have job creation up 200 new jobs to Tesco's, 50 to Partial Solutions in the technology plant, 50 more at two to, the, to Macri, the concrete people. All this shows the faith that there is in Antrim, because it is a marvellous situation in Antrim. <laughs> Smart, the harsh reality of life on Ratha Row is the breakup of her family. They, they said that then not only burn my house, they make sure I don't get out along with my children. We will burn alive, they'll make sure of that. They threatened to stab us. Uh, my eldest son, he had a small business uh, where he delivered in Balmain. He was followed and chased around Balmain one day with each these guys with a machete. So I really shouldn't be living here. I suppose I should be moving, especially for my six-year-old. We have a six-year-old child uh, at the minute. Um, he is living with relatives because it's not safe from here at the moment. I had to move him out. That must have been a terrible decision that you have to take. It was, yes. But I thought long and hard about it, and he was hearing too much, he was saying too much. That was affecting his life, and uh, I thought for his safety and for, well, really for his safety, he would be better off with my relatives because uh, I just didn't think that he was safe here at the moment.